Alright, so welcome to my Let's Play for Tales of Berseria. Um, so I don't know too, too much about this, other than that it's kind of related to Tales of Zestiria, which, if you watched my playthrough, I wasn't a huge fan of that game. Um, I like the characters in it, but I found the game really tedious. But apparently this is like a thousand years before, or something along those lines. Um, and so it features a completely different cast of characters, and apparently... Uh, it's not supposed to be like a happy save the world kind of game. Anyways, let's jump into a new game here. Um, so I've not started. Don't know much about it, but we do need to configure some things here. Um, y axis always inverted. Music volume down a bit. Sound effects down a bit. And I should probably. Eh. That should be okay, I think. Alright, um. I put those like that. Alright. Uh, so that should be fine. I like Tales games a lot, so I'm hoping that this is a good one. I've heard good things about it. Um, like I said, I was very unimpressed with Zestiria. Anyways, let's jump into this one. Celica. I'm so scared. Arthur, please. <laughs> You'll be just fine with these. Celica enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will? Sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? I'll come back for you once Celica is safe. It's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Laffy's older sister, and you're a student.
On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. Luffy, time to wake up. Uh, okay. Morning. I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the Cape. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself, then. Bring down a few prickle lores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. Hmm. Well... Though something bad really happens when they're kids, but... Hmm. Alright, so let's just see the... Start skit. Oh, skit's on the that button now? Hmm. Alright. Menus on the touchpad, I don't like that. I'd rather have open menu with the triangle button, but that's fine. Alright. Hunt prickle boars in tranquil woods. So I'm assuming this is going to be pretty similar in style to Zestereo, where um, all the battles take place on the map itself. Garlic. Cool. Um, I went to see like the DLC. There was only like one set of costumes and it was like not even a full set for the whole party. It was like random costumes so I wasn't overly impressed with that. Um, usually they have like a DLC tab but I did download the free adventure pack. Which gave us a bunch of healing items. Um... There's apparently like DLC for a catalog. I'm not sure what that is about. Uh, I wanted to see. Eh, whatever. Figure it out later. All right, so let's go find these prickle boars. Okay, we don't need to go down a ladder. We can just jump it. All right, let's go talk to. I can't remember what his name was. Rest up. All right. Don't forget to take some gels with you. You know, you're careless sometimes. I'll be fine. You just make sure. Don't worry about me. I'll be in bed resting. You better be. Lafacet, I think was his name. Alright, well, out we go. Oh, and I am playing this on the PlayStation 4, so if you didn't realize the whole touchpad thing. But it is available, I think, on PC as well. Um, I think in Japan it released on PS3. I don't remember. Definitely not on PS3 for North America, though. If I'm on the hunt for prickle boars, I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This is for Luffy's medicine, so I can't mess this up. 
Oh, that echo is kind of annoying. I get that she's talking in her head, but... It's pretty so far, though. Zucchini? So I wonder when she turns into like a revenge-seeking demon. Come to think of it, Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it! I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Salika taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. Right. Oh, there's a lot of stuff on this mini-map here. I can't talk to the cat. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those... things. It's a nightmare! Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, demons... They gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell. Come to think of it, Selica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. Hmm. So Selica is her sister, but who's that guy then? I think he was somehow involved in all this demon blight. What's not? Well, whatever. I guess the ones with the exclamation mark are like voiced events. Hey, Velvet. Is Lafayette feeling better? No, not yet. He needs a little more rest. I think. Aw, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got it. Lafayette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back, like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit, but still, that sounds terrible. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came... Selica raised me and Luffy all by herself, so now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. Hmm, I guess maybe Luffy said his Velvet's brother, maybe? I should probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare, but like Arthur always says, Battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. So copper chests are consumable, silver is standard equipment, gold is exceptional equipment. Alright. Keep that in mind. Uh, it'd be nice if like treasure chests would retract on the map, but it doesn't look that way. They're tracked once you open them, but... Is that a save point over there? Looks like it. Uh, okay. You can quick save by pressing the options in the pause menu. Alright. I 
In games like these where you can't save wherever you want, you save every time you get a chance, cause you never know. Although I think they've been pretty good about letting you like restart battles and stuff, not just giving you a game over screen. It just sells apple gels, but we only have 200 gold, so we're not gonna buy anything. Um... I'm not entirely sure where to the go. The demon blight is a punishment sent to us by the Empyreans for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Empyreans? The four Empyreans created the world. The one Empyrean shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When contradiction permeates this world, the time of suppression will be upon us. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! All right then. Oh, it's you, Velvet. If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know. I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, aren't you? I'm 16. I was about to say, she looks a little older than 13. She also looks a little bit older than 16 as well, but... Uh, let's check our map. So they're both question marks. It says in the Tranquil Woods, but... We'll try going out this way. Alright, so this is the Tranquil Woods. Um... The only thing I don't like about starting RPGs though is you always have like only one party member and it takes a while before things really pick up and we can't go up this waterfall which is annoying because it looks like on our map we can but maybe it's a way back down quickly. This area looks promising. Not really. I don't see any prickle bores at all. How do we get a preemptive strike in? No. 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 Maybe just run in behind it, maybe? Uh. Well, whatever. Battle tutorial. Combo attacks can be performed based on the number of souls each character currently possesses. This is weird. Every attack is a... Or every face button is an attack? Right, here goes! The heavy block. If every button is attack, how do we block? Oh, this is like a weird... We're using actually abilities, huh? Okay. So it's not just an attack button. We got two prickle bore meats. Contacting an enemy while... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Da, 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 da. Cannot flee from that. Have a red border. Okay, yeah, so red borders are done. mandatory fights. We can't escape those ones. The cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our prickleborn meat now. Luffy and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinkle boars? Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about Piggle Boar? Yeah, Piggle Boar! That's a cute name. Maybe too cute, though. 
We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. Right. Alright. Whatever. Velvet, you are an interesting one. We can't get across there. Maybe eventually, but not right now. I want to get a preemptive strike on these pickle boars. Yeah, whatever. Arts use up the soul gauge. When soul gauge drops to zero, you can still attack, but you will be knocked back if you try to defend. Alright. Wi-Fi connection lost, ah! Danger. Alright, so use L1 to defend. But also greatly depe depletes SG. Okay. Right, here goes. Author second maxim. Know your foes and strike where they're weak. Not bad. Still trying to grasp this whole combat system, but it's odd. Using arts when you have no SG comes with a number of detrimental effects. Combo speed is slower, and combos are more easily broken. Attacks are more easily guarded against, and attacks that are guarded will be deflected, leaving the attacker vulnerable. So do not attack if I don't have SG. That is what I am getting from this. Okay. Um... I just want to put the music down just a little teeny teeny bit more. There we go. Another save point. Might as well save again, why not? I don't know if we're getting- I didn't even check if we were getting experience after the fights or whatnot, but... Hmm... More pickle boars! Right, here goes. Oh, we don't even get a tutorial for this one! Alright. Not bad. Uh, we are getting XP, so good. Probably put it on hard this though. Should be enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. Hmm. Well. There's some sort of event over here too, so I'm kinda curious. This place isn't safe. That hole's gotten bigger. I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence, but they keep saying it's forbidden land. Even Celica used to scare me with it. She was always, this is a gateway to the underworld. Well, I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. Ah, uh, right. Well, that is a pretty big gaping hole. Anything special hiding around here, like a treasure chest? Anything? Glad we can't, like, sprint. Maybe we'll get that eventually, but... Because we had it in Zestiria, we could sprint. Hmm. I also wouldn't mind jumping, either. And I'm not... I don't know. If, there might be just some things to gather off the sides here, but I doubt there's going to be... A treasure chest, but there might be. I mean, why make this area go all the way around and not put anything here? Other than to troll players? Yep, and I think that's exactly what it is. Alright. You win this time, game. I 
I guess we have to go back the way we came. Maybe break this rock? No. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll take a break here. Next time we'll head on back to town, give La Facette the meat for to make the medicine, I think, or something along those lines. And uh, see where things go from there. So as always, thanks for watching.